We have another box and whisker plot here, and they are, we're told that this represents the math test scores of 20 students. What percentage of the test scores are less than 72? Let's just go through the box and whisker plot again. Um, when you have this, this box and whisker plot, you have these endpoints right here. This is your minimum value, the lowest value in this set. And likewise, or opposite here, this is the maximum value. And then we have the median, which is always this line in the center of the box here. The median is the middle value. And that separates things um, into the upper 50% and the lower 50%, right? The lower 50% um, is also split on the box and whisker plot. It's, it's the median of the lower half of the data. It's the first quartile, or the halfway point of this lower 50%. What's nice about the first quartile is it, it separates the lower 50% into the first 25% here and the second 25% there. And of course there's a spread here in, in size. I mean, it literally cuts the numbers in half, but the values of the numbers might be distributed unevenly, which you can kind of tell here that they are distributed unevenly. This line over here, over here is always the third quartile, and that just splits your upper portion of data into two groups. The upper 25% here and this 25% there. Um, between the median and third quartile. So it essentially splits your data into four sections, right? The first 25%, the second 25%, the third 25%, and then the fourth 25%. They want to know what percentage of scores are less than 72. So let's find 72. Here's 70, here's 72. So there, this is your 72 mark, the first quartile. So by definition, right, the, this number, 72, at the first quartile is above the first 25% of the data. So the 25% of the data is below that number. Right? If they ask you below 88 here, you would say 75% of the data is below that number. If it was below the median, you'd say 50% of the data, and so forth.